Chinese light combat tanks are not meant for battle in Ladakh. Indian tanks can destroy them in minutes. With the present India-China standoff showing no signs of getting resolved anytime soon and successive top-level military talks between the two sides ending in a stalemate, a limited armed conflict between the two Asian giants is being seen as the only way for India to restore status quo ante along the line of actual control or if conditions permit, to draw out a new status quo along and beyond the de facto Indo-Tibetan border as well, that both India and China have mobilized for a full-blown conflict along the LAC is not a secret. However, a multi-layered advantage on land and in the air rests with the Indian side when the inevitable fighting does start. China has deployed its light combat tanks and armoured vehicles along the LAC, especially in eastern Ladakh, from subsector North or Dolat Begoldi to Pangongso Lake, including the Chumar Demchok and Spangor Gap areas. The Chinese thinking is driven by the fact that when it comes to mountainous warfare, the light tanks would serve a better purpose than the usual heavyweight variants which India has deployed in eastern Ladakh. Indian T-90s and T-72s, however, are all set to foil all such Chinese aspirations as Indian tank commanders posted on the front line in Ladakh have confidently stated that the Chinese tanks are no match for their Indian counterparts. A tank commander talking to India's news agency ANI on the condition of anonymity said, I believe that in case there is a battle involving the tanks during the present situation and they deploy their light tanks, I can assure you that it won't survive against our T-90s and the T-72s. Sources told ANI, that the Chinese tanks and infantry combat vehicles, including the T-99s and the PTZ, have also been deployed. They are backed by the long-range artillery and surface-to-air missile defense systems. China has recently also deployed T-15 light tanks to take on India, albeit in a futile attempt. Asked about the winters and extremely cold weather serving as a hindrance to the tanks performing optimally, the tank commander told ANI that the Russian-origin T-90 tank is very well suited for operations in extreme cold weather conditions that mirror conditions of the country of origin of the tank. Not only are the Chinese at a disadvantage due to the choice of tanks deployed by them, but also due to the external headache of having to deal with their snowflake-like soldiers who are anything but battle-hardened. The PLA soldiers are no match for the battle-hardened Indian Army in the Himalayas as it has been demonstrated to the Paper Dragon in no uncertain terms that the Indian soldiers are capable of completely obliterating their Chinese counterparts. By their own admission, China knows that when it comes to mountain warfare, the Indian Army is an unparalleled force to whose capabilities no modern army comes even close around the world. Leave alone fighting a battle in the winters of Ladakh, the Chinese soldiers are not being able to survive the onset of the same too and are already being stretched off to medical facilities. Further, mountain warfare is not the Chinese's cup of tea, and their inability to handle sophisticated military equipment is well known from their performance in the Vietnam War itself. It would not be hyperbole to say that in case of an armoured battle too, the Chinese are at a distinctive disadvantage.